Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft Wizard Mining. While we are sorting here the uh, leftovers from the last project, uh, where we have built one tower around a farm, uh, that got me thinking about the next towers, which require a bit of glass, black glass. Glass is a bit tedious to get from the villagers, uh, but black dye is even more complex. So today we will figure out how we can get uh, our hands on the substantial sum of black dye. So while we're waiting uh, for this to sort, uh, let's explore the options that we have. First option is a wither rose farm, uh, which I have built one variant uh, which constantly breaks, so that's no good. And the other option would be a setup that basically requires uh, manual interaction, so that's no good either. There is also a crafting tweak that would allow to transform coal or charcoal into black dye, but I don't really want to add other recipes uh, just to get to that point. So the last option is an ink farm. And the problem with that is that you need to dry out quite a bit of riverbed uh, in order to get good spawn conditions but more importantly you also have to dig a hole which is a problem if you uh, set yourself the challenge of uh, not mining anything. That's why uh, that got me thinking does it need to be in a river? I, I think that the reason for that is you then only need to drain a bit of water. But in theory, you could also drain an ocean and that's exactly what we do because then we don't need to dig down or not dig down as much as we would otherwise. I've found myself a spot in the deep ocean and over there you see some corners out of uh, glazed terracotta and back there is the fourth one and that's basically the cornerstones of our perimeter uh, where we have to drain out the water and the reason uh, for it to be in the corner is to basically prevent water, new water sources forming by flowing water from the side. So here on the outside we will have basically uh, one block of falling water down there and then the rest uh, will all be drained out. So now we have to build up a machine to drain the whole thing um, and uh, I have, it's not a design by myself, uh, I have to look it up. Um, uh, I, I will tell you once I'm done and as always link down in the description um, to get that working. Uh, for the uh, ink or for the uh, squids, we actually don't need uh, to have the water drained all the way down because they only spawn down to level 40, I think. So we need to drain all the water above level 40 and then in the small area where we will have the form there we will have to go all the way to the ground basically down to to level 30. 
and this portal here that's basically in the center of where all this is happening this water removal machine is after the design by sci-fi and we do have some uh, walls here on the side to prevent uh, reforming of water sources and here on the back we only have columns which will not prevent water flowing into the drained area uh, but it's only flowing water and as the perimeter is a bit larger than it needed to be that should not be a problem so let's start the machine and uh, uh, hopefully we can then see how this works uh, best viewed in a in a time lapse and as we have here in the back um, some of the columns are uh, just gravel others are glazed terracotta uh, glazed terracotta of course there where uh, the flying machine comes back with some slime so we want don't want that to attach to the flying machine and unfortunately uh, as the flying machine goes back and forth we have to remove the top layers uh, of these uh, glazed terracotta columns because the uh, upper part of the flying machine that is uh, or the contraption that is responsible for uh, pushing the flying machine one block down um, is exactly above those columns and on the other side we don't have that problem because there uh, it is offset and on the other side we also just have the mechanism um, for returning the flying machine that is pulled down we don't have something that um, actually pulls down the the whole machine and to ensure <coughs> everything is uh, within a loaded distance uh, we can place ourselves in the middle where we have the, the platform and every once in a while uh, we have to move to the back to mine away those uh, glazed terracotta columns so basically every time the flying machine is pushed down a block we remove one block from the top. Some of our water remover have now stuck because they have touched ground floor below, below uh, but especially here in the middle, they are still going, but we can see that the water that flows in from the back and the front is a slight issue more than i imagined but i think we can apply the same uh, uh, plan um, the other way around uh, turn the flying water remover by 90 degree and clear out the outside and as we want to uh, create uh, a farm for uh, insects meaning uh, uh, squids we only need to have the water removed down to level 50 and uh, the, where the uh, machines are stuck uh, that's way below below that point all right let me set the the rest up do a bit of cleaning up and then we probably also need a wall along the other two sides um, to have that cleared out. The whole thing now makes a much cleaner 
uh, impression with walls all around and basically uh, water drained down to a level where it's not really an issue. But I can tell you maybe it was a mistake to do it that way because it would have been way easier and uh, probably also faster to uh, uh, look for a good spot, drain some rivers and then blast a hole in the ground. But what we need to do here is somewhere around here in the middle we need a bit of, uh, of space um, where we can uh, uh, make our farm happening um, and then we need to move the platform from above uh, down here and uh, then basically have um, have uh, farm built uh, here on top and the AFK platform for this one will be up in the air. And that's basically it from the farm. We have some water columns from the original ocean surface down to at least level 50 because that's where squids can spawn and Normally you would then have a hole that's deep enough to kill them with fall damage. We don't have that here, but have some uh, fires on top of hoppers uh, that go into some chests. Ideally, if killing them with uh, fall damage, you would then collect the drops with a minecart, which is a bit more uh, lag friendly, especially uh, with all the uh, smoke particles that we have here on top. But killing them with fire, that's the uh, fastest way of killing them because we want to free up the mob cap so more squids can spawn. The drawback uh, of having this here uh, in the uh, ocean, uh, you can see that we also spawn uh, some dolphins aside from fish. Uh, but I think over the course of this episode, we have proven that we disregard the large portion of the fauna and flora, unless of course it's naturally spawned pink sheep. And all that we still have to do here is move this platform a bit up uh, to increase the, the spawning down there. So we are at least 24 blocks away from the nearest water column, but not too far away to disable the AI of the squids, because only when the AI is active, they will swim around and then basically fall out of the water column and drop down onto the fire like that one down there. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and also tune in next time when we maybe make use of some of that black dye. So until then, goodbye.